Welcome to the testing word. So now we are on the place where we can write first test case. As of now, we have created a Maven project or added all the dependencies. We have created configuration file. We have created base files, assertions, pages. Now we are ready to write first test case. So here we are going to write a first test case without data driven approach. First, we will write a simple test case. Later on, we will convert this test case in the form of data driven. So I'm coming here on my Eclipse and just creating a package org dot automation dot testing world dot and the third I'm writing test cases. Hello friends. Hope you're enjoying our videos. And if you find this video is beneficial for you, Please subscribe our videos by clicking on this subscribe button. After subscribing, you will get immediate notification for all the videos which we are going to upload. Happy learning! Inside these test cases, I am going to create a class with the name TC001 validate login functionality. So here, if you notice, I'm creating a first test case here. Now, as you know, whatever the code we need to write, we should be inside a method. So I'm creating a method over here, public void TC001 login functionality. You, you can give any name and this. As we are aware about test ng, so my test case method should be should have test annotation. So I'm using test annotation. But before the test annotation, we need to execute before method, which will start the browser, and then test case and at the end after browse after method, which will close the browser. So because we do not have any before method and after method here. But if you remember, we have written that code into the base class. So what I can do. I can extend my base class here. So I'm extending driver instance class. Now, when we are going to execute our test case, first it will check for the test annotation. Yes, we have. Now it check, do we have before method annotation? No, we don't have. But because we, we are inheriting another class, so it will go to the parent class and check, do we have before method? Yes. So it will create a driver instance this before method will execute and it will create a driver instance now this driver object or i'll say instance can be used in the child class because we have made it public so now i'm coming here whatever the test case i want to write so i want to work on a login functionality so i'm just creating the login page object new login page and if you remember login page class has a constructor which which need web driver object if you want to check you can check it over here it need web driver object so i'm passing the driver object from here and this driver object is coming from the parent because we have inherited parent class so when the before method will execute in the parent like when before method will execute in the print parent it will create a driver object and that's a driver object which is public can be used in the child test cases child classes so here we are using that now to enter username login dot enter username what username you want to pass so as of now i'm just taking uname one login dot enter password pass one login dot click sign in these are the methods it will ask for exception handling so throws exception everything is done now my first test case is ready which is using base class and pages as of now i'm not calling assertions i'm just running this so i'll check like first test case without assertion should be working over here so it should start browser let's check for that your browser started it should enter username then password 
click on a sign in button and then close the browser so you will notice everything is working perfectly so the structure that we have created till now it's working fine and if you check it here in the console so it should not not throw any error so it shows all the test cases are running correctly and if you want to check you can check test ng window as well it shows that is working fine so that is the first test case which we have created as of now we did not implement it data driven part so here the step is done here we are going to create test case without data driven approach executed with a single data which is working fine now in next session i'll show you how we can start data driven approach that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video hi friends hope you are enjoying this video if you have any question regarding this video you can ask your question in the comment section also i would request you to please subscribe our channel you can subscribe it by click on this subscribe button for getting notification about all the new videos which we are going to upload on the daily basis also we are offering are all the video courses at very high discounted price we have 50 plus video courses which can be beneficial for you in your daily job activities if you are interested to buy any video course or all video course you can call or whatsapp us on this number also you can be in touch with us by using facebook linkedin or twitter happy learning